to a dig, another spot. I gotta hit a place I can't miss. I'm on the road to a dig, another spot. I gotta hit a place I can't miss. I'm looking for gems and dust and dirt, mold and worse, markets and curbs, bugs and herbs, bins and crates. Boxes, cases, trunks, places Off the beaten path, 51 the math Dog man's trap, jazz is back Sample the soul and funk tracks Keep Tim's on bottom top with the fitted cap Hot with an itch to rap, wax to scratch Load sample pads to match Trim drums to smash, chop loops to bash Make tempos fast and the cymbals crash The bass blast while the echo lasts Sounds from the past, straight from the trash Buttons to mash, burning like ash Drinking like tash, worthless like cash I'll trade beats for a hash Speedily scratch like the flash with the rash Till I bleed out of gas, till I run out of gas Give you what you want, don't front That lo-fi hiss with a little bump ba bump bump crack, pop, and kick The snare hit and the bass thick That's how we flip Okay, no time for choruses. We all know what the deal is when you're on the road digging. Yeah. So yeah, it might be not worth your while if you're kind of more of a metal guy than a tune rock. Because I've never put a premium on the metal, and so my metal's always just, I kind of wasn't a big fan of metal, and so everybody always just would come in and have their way with me on whatever metal I had to the point of where I just don't have good metal anymore. Oh, yeah. Because I price it so cheap, and it would all just disappear, you know? You got, like, any psych stuff, garage rock? I've got some, but it would but not for those be a sale. lot in, the, in my $2 record. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a little bit, and they're, they're, I've got some boxes that are marked covers, which is where the where the vinyls will be compromised to some degree. Okay. There were there's some pretty interesting stuff. But I'm not gonna have like a mint copy of the Fugs first album, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? Oh no, I I know. Like a nice white vinyl, steal your face by the dead, ain't gonna happen, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's cool, you got a bunch of two dollar stuff there set might to the be side. A, an old blue cheer album that's a little roughed up, you know what I mean? Something like that. Um, I'm not trying to talk it down, but I don't want to. I don't. No, yeah, I'm you're not. To give over you a real picture. Yeah. Than, I'm a guy. I've been over to, to Holland to that big record show in um, in Amsterdam in Utrecht. Oh wow. Times, you know, I've been wow. out in Austin three times. So I'm saying I'm kind of a record guy. You know what I mean? You got some stuff, I bet. Now. Yeah, I'm not just the guy that's dumping my 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 Ace collection for you know a couple bucks a piece. You know? But I do like like the twelve people that came to my sale all walked off with a chunk of records. You know? What do you do like stuff at your house sometimes? And everybody only looked at a few boxes, so I'm saying it, there, there's tons of stuff that hadn't even been peeked at. I've got one whole central stack that, that never even got unfolded. Oh wow! Still a big column of stuff stacked on top of each other. Nice. That's what I'm sorry. Man. I no, no, you're fine. Uh, you uh, ten on those for them. <laughs> no, but I'll give you one dollar off. I'll just, I haven't been discounting my beatles. I'll give you this is the first token. Plus, you got my two ones that are going to be the first two that are going to go. So, I'll give you one dollar off. Thank you. That'll be 11. I forget what else you got. You show me right. Was it the Earls or not the Earl? Or was it just on top? So I'd already told you we'd do five on those two, so that's 16, and I told you I'd do you five on those two, it's 21, so you're 24. And do you need the bag? I think I might be okay. I think I can get them in this one. I could double it for you if that, you might, okay, yeah, you're okay, all you all in, you might almost. Uh -oh. So that what Stevie Ray's not you, right? On what no. we just talked about. Okay. Oh, here's yes, ma'am. I'm asking two dollars for it. Well, not well. I had it. Oh, you're making sure some money here, yeah. Rob. Okay. Oh, you're looking for. Hey, will you do me a favor? Will you hold yeah. that side yeah. of that bag? There's a corral wearing the mask. 
my stroke. Oh, wow. No problem, thank you. Maybe you had the titles and uh... production was halted. Budget. Is it? Budget cuts. <laughs> what? Dude? You don't need money to do that, dude. We're here checking out Ed at his new spot. Ed and his drop from the legend of Ed to. Hillbilly Ed in the, down here by himself in the corner, smoking dope and drinking beer all day. <laughs> the fall from grace on tonight's I fell from grace. ID. I sold a Boy George to a Led Zeppelin fan. <laughs> so Ed's been moved to the north end of the flea market now. This is our first visit out this year, 2014. How's the north end treating you, Ed? Who? How's was the north end of the market treating you? Well, after our fire, we lost a lot of people. It was and almost as bad I, as the Great White Show. Nobody was coming up there where I was, so I decided to come down here. In the white room? Yeah, when I came down here, there was about five other dealers. They all left. They left me all alone down here, which I like. Speculation has it you forced them out. If I played my music too loud, I'm sorry. But if you had any rhythm in you, you wouldn't be complaining. You'd be dancing. Sorry. Rumor has it you played Lord of the Rings album straight continuously 37 <laughs> times last Saturday. I played Lord of the, the Rings, last Lord of the Rings three album. dealers to leave. I played it all day long until I left at 4 o'clock continually. The desolation of Ed. Lord of the Rings. And nobody even asked me, hey, what is that? Is that good? Does that sound good? What do we got over here? Ed pulled out a few things yeah. for me. This blues image. I think I have. I'm not sure. We'll chance it. The Empire Strikes Back cartoony looking. The Battlestar Galactica. The good old version. Lauren Green. I think I have all those, but I definitely don't have Love at First Bite. And uh, I think Sherman Helmsley's in this movie, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. So. There he is, right there. Amen. Oh, yeah. Love it, first bite. Sounds of outer space. Real clean copy. Just some sound effects. Kind of, yeah, sound effects. Bo Hansen, magician's hat, some kind of psych kind of stuff. Listomania, not sure, but it's all uh, Ringo's on it. produced and arranged by Rick Wakeman. <coughs> so Rick Wakeman does some uh, it's Roger Daltrey, out Ringo there Star. stuff. Yeah. And a good clean copy of Trouble Man. Nice. Marvin Gaye. Oh, the governor. Conan the governor. Yeah, show him the other side with his picture. Dude. Beautiful. Who was that girl? I forget, but she was pretty nice. I don't know. Conan Stris. Conan's girl. And the Howdy Doody time. Yeah. And that's Crates' find of the day. The Howdy Doody show. I got that up one time in Bleecker. Bleaker they Bob's in New York they once. different, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it comes with a cutout. People. Yeah, different but this people, one's, uh, it's not in here. Put different things. There were so, one of these had a nice poster in it. Uh, a couple of them. But. So we had the uh, draft, football draft passed. Yeah, my Dolphins got a, uh, who did they pick up? Offensive lineman. Yeah, what do you think about Manziel going to the Browns? It might be good for him. Yeah, their number one receiver just got popped for uh, I think smoking trees, get, though. So. I think he's going to have one of these 300-pound linemen hit him a little harder than that guy in college did. And he might get hurt. He doesn't look like he's that strong of a guy. And he's good, but if he gets hit too many times, rattle his brain. What about Jadvon Clowney guy? Number From what one I understand, you don't like pick. to work too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens. He's about to talk, maybe. Everyone yeah, gets on. The, don't forget, these guys played in college against a a group of men that half of them weren't even that good. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're in with everybody's good. The elite. And, and sometimes they think that it's nothing. They're going to be playing the same level, but they're not. And when one of them guys hits them, it really means it. They're going to say. When the bullet hits the bone, you'll know when the bullet hits the bone. Yeah. But we got a while for that yet. We got months for that. I'm a Marlin fan, man. They're in first place in the East. Oh, man. Give me a beat and a baseline.